Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 18 of How to Survive EVE Online. This is mostly just going to be a rehash of how to do courier missions. Let's go to Neocom, Journal. Uh, Right-click the first offered mission, start conversation. Uh, let's go back to the journal, right-click the second offered mission, start conversation. And these are both courier missions thankfully to the same station, so we can just run both of them at once. Uh, let's right-click our Navitas and make that active. Not that it matters which ship we use to do this. Uh, and these agents want us to deliver these two packages of cargo. So, double-click your Navitas, accept the first mission, accept the second mission, if your items hanger is scrolled down to the bottom and there are no gaps in the items you have here, you could, they should appear at the bottom. Just check the cargo you have in your cargo hold against what you're supposed to be moving in the courier missions. 1 unit central data core, 20 units cap booster 25. Let's close these windows and... Let me double click one of these missions. Right click the destination. Set destination, right click Clolalon, add waypoint. Now let's get these out of the way and undock. Reverse the distance sort, click on Stargate Luce, warp to zero. And I should really reload my weapons just as a matter of habit. Not that I expect to be shooting anything. This is really a courier mission. I'm moving it from one station to another station. Click on jump. Now that we are in the destination system, right click empty space. Either mission, uh, objective drop off, dock. Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, right click one agent, start conversation, right click the other agent, also start conversation, and we will. Complete the first mission. And the mission rewards us with a limited social adaptation chip. I'll close that. Complete this mission. Close that. And... The tutorial gives you a skill book. Actually, let's train this to level 1 now. And undock. Left-click Clelon, warp to zero. Warp drive active. I've skipped ahead to where I've returned to the station in Clelon. Let's open the character sheet. Uh, I've mentioned before how the attributes that you have affect your skill training times. So if you change how your attributes are mapped, some skills will train faster, other skills will train slower. Implants will increase your attributes. Right now you're at 20 across the board except Charisma, which is 19. That's the default starting off. Uh, right now you don't have any augmentations. So, first of all, go to the skills, go to the skill training queue. And let's click pause, because you can't plug in an implant while you've got skills training. Right click the implant if you want to show info on it, what this thing does is it increases the Charisma modifier and it goes in Implant Slot 5. Right click, plug in, implants are lost when unplugged and when you die, are you sure you want to use this one now? Push OK. Cybernetics 1. Um, 
you know what? I'm going to explain this in a later episode. We've got the cybernetic skill training. Uh, I will have to wait for that to train before I can demonstrate this. So, I'm going to stop the episode here. In the meantime, thank you for watching.